Greetings and salutations, welcome back to our Let's Play of EU4 with Red Bastard as Korea. And where we last left our nation, we had just entered into the Age of Absolutism and we were going over how those mechanics work. We'll see a little demonstration. As soon as I get my military tech up, I'll start strengthening our government to start getting some absolutism. Right now we're in a war with somebody with better tech than us. We're certainly not going to prioritize that over the technology. We're getting a better relations over time now called improved relations. Advisor, we are going to be picking up some aggressive expansion. I really want to force a breach on these walls, but again, it's not the best use of our military power. And I definitely want to get these guys off of those farmlands onto defensible terrain. Yeah, they're building up an even larger army. This could be a problem for us. Let's get that cannon. Where it needs to be. As for sure of them not to attack us in Kyoto, they should have tried ejecting us from the province while they had the chance. Okay, we've got 44 war score, so as soon as their enthusiasm drops, I'm going to sign that peace deal. Dick, our queen consort is having an affair. Oh, we're just going to lose the prestige. And I wouldn't be surprised if they win this battle. We really need good rolls at this point. But we did not get them. Okay, their enthusiasm dropped. Let's march these guys together and go for the war goal. They need this province to embrace level trade. Attach this guy, send him over here to repair, and then merge up with our fleet. And they took Kyoto back. We'll take the war goal and go and sit back on Kyoto. I would just go straight for it, but they've got stronger military than us. And we're not at full morale. Ooh. That is not good. We're going to have to retreat. expect them to be able to get into that battle as quickly as they did. Okay, we could fabricate here. This isn't a very valuable province. We might be able to force them to give it to us. And things are not looking good in Japan. Let's wait till we have full morale here. Okay, I'm going to actually split this in half, cross here, see if we can get them stuck on this island. That would certainly win the war for us. Of 
can't let them control both sides. Oof, I thought I'd mark myself as offline. I did, why is it... Why is it giving me pop-ups on Steam? One second. That was wrong with Steam. One sec. Yeah, that's stupid. It, it's not supposed to have those things pop up. Those ten depot points. Okay, we do need to get over here and control this straight, because if they control here, then they can cross, and we need to prevent them from crossing. Okay, at least they have to deal with the crossing here. I could tech up. I think we'll take our chances. Hold. Hold for everything sacred. Hold for Korea. When? Damn it, the troops are. Japanese troops are good. Really annoying. We almost, we almost had them trapped. Okay, maybe we could trap them over here. Try this again. Okay, finished off West Timor. Again, we're going to dedicate one of our colonists to try closing off this area to Europeans as much as possible, but Portugal's already getting up in our business. Hurry. Okay, they did not get over there fast enough to stop us. So let's go for their capital. And now we've won the war. Because we control the straits, they can't cross. Their entire army is stuck over there. About the best hope that they had was trying to pick guys up by ship. But now that they've suicided their fleet... What did some damage on ours? Why does it do that? 
just one of the dumbest things about... Yeah, it was damaged and decided to go back out to port immediately. You, you guys can do better than that, Paradox. You really can. Let's go ahead and get some admin points here. And well, let's get some more cash. Yeah, it really annoys me. You lose a battle and ships. I mean, they were set the dock when they had any damage, so they should not have just instantly gone back out to see. I think we're going to go for more expansive demands than we had originally planned. Now that Japan made sure that this wasn't an easy war on us. We've already spent about 40k manpower. So we're going to go for a full 100%. Peace. 75. Read up. Let's go for the fort with this guy because he's got all the cannons. Ignore all their peace deals. Leave these guys here and some of these guys keep their fleet stuck in port. Okay, no longer need to go home during war. Actually, we don't need that many. Let's see, where is that? Somewhere in Japan. Because we have the two. They're down in the south. Here. We'll join up with the rest of the fleet. Okay, we can ask Malacca for manpower. No, I think we'll just take the prestige. And we're running over here, so let's go ahead. Try to get this sooner. 16, 18. I will just wait. Okay, we got a lot of points here. Let's go ahead and get a claim on Hulan. Will that get back? Let's get a claim on our gold mine. Might as well get a second claim while we're here. Get a claim on their gold mine.
Okay, we make Ming like us for Ming like us and two other nations. So this one's obviously better. It's because we're the charismatic negotiator. We get that option. Okay, let's send these guys up north. With the general. We really should have an admiral. Can we afford one? Yeah, let's just try to smash their fleet. See if we can steal some of their ships too. And do we want to increase the liberty desire of our subject? No, we want to lose some mercantilism. Should be in the Mexico region. Of course, we're going to end up with a lot of money. We could just buy this up, but we're so close here. There we are. And that should reduce the cost quite drastically. Yeah, knock like 200 off or something. Is anywhere else super close? This one is, but it's only 9 development. I guess we can give it a few months. Call this guy back. I might as well start fabricating here. And possibly in Portugal as well. Now that they've turned hostile, we can fabricate on this stuff. Hindu. Good, we didn't suffer any losses. I'm determined to make this peace deal cost. The Japanese. Okay, almost present. Chance to capture enemy ships plus two percent. I like it. Where are you going? Okay, that's still in the sea zone. Okay, like two months. And then we'll just embrace it. And I see no need to have any edicts in place. Aside from right here, the one that we're trying to get spreading.
that's just costing us money. See how it's spreading. Yeah, it isn't really spreading over here. Okay, so 2600, let's go ahead and embrace. Still got plenty of money. Now, let's grab our tech. Nice, now we can build universities. And we're ahead of time on tech all over the place. Let's get our better cavalry. We can get some more states, that's really nice. One of those definitely has to be Brunei. So we want to shift our, our trade down here. This would make a great state as well. And our clergy wants some more land. What could we give them? We'll give them something with high autonomy. produce spices. I really don't want to give them a spice producing province. Yeah, they can have this. Or should we give them something in Japan? And we're not going to reduce this because, well, could right now. We don't have any absolutism. But we got better things to be doing with our simple points. We want to start working on these maritime ideas. I'm just going to leave them with a little bit less land until we conquer some of this stuff. Because it's going to be high autonomy. I've got 92 war scores, so I'm only holding out so that I can smash their fleet a little bit more. Hopefully capture a few of those ships. Yeah, so we are going to strengthen our government with some of these points. So it gives us two absolutism. We'll do that again. Now we're up to 93. We've got four absolutism. So we get 0.2% discipline. Cores on us that foreign nations have, like say Japanese cores, will disappear 2% more quickly and we get 1.6% administrative efficiency. So it'll bring down the cost of overextension that this is, these deals going to give us. So that's good stuff. And we do have that extra merchant. We're going to be collecting down here. We already have a merchant in place. So I'm going to transfer some trade power, ensure that that moves down to here. Smash those ships. So they should dock up here. I 
And we will be ready to hurt them when they do. Our Navy is the best. We can get increased diplomatic tech costs. Yeah, we're ahead of time. We're not going to be teching this up in the next 10 years, chances are, and that's better than losing stability. We'll just work on our ideas. Ming wants some of our tribute, we'll give it to him. And we captured some more of their ships, got some transports out of the deal. Okay, I think we could sign a peace deal here. We're not at all overextended. So let's take those two. It's an estate with us. Don't want to force their capital out of Kyoto quite yet, I don't think. Instead, we're going to take... Yeah, we could take more. I guess we'll leave them with that. And take some cash. Certainly weaken them. I'm going to leave these forts in place, as always, until they get rid of the devastation. And now we need to give our clergy more land. This stuff has relatively high autonomy, so that goes to our clergy. And they still want more. So we'll give them this one as well. And they should be happy. Prioritize the stuff that gives us overextension. And once we get this cord, I am going to set our trading port down there, but that's going to cause us 200 diplo power, so we can't really do that. I'd rather have just a single province be hurting than spend a bunch of cash. Okay, we can now start spending some money. I do want to be getting some more splendor, so I'm going to start putting in some universities. So that's one. This place Let's see where development is. This place has high development, so let's put the second one in there. Let's just look at our development map mode. Should look at number three. So center of trade, and we could always develop it a little bit more. So it's four. And this will be lucky number five. I also want to increase our trade power. This isn't really going to help us much, but whatever. Now we could start putting in some manufactories as well, but it would make sense to do them in the, those exact places where we're building. Our universities. And you can see Japan getting rid of troops as their force limit is dropping. So we finished that one and we're starting on the next one. There we have a claim here, so I'm going to see if we could threaten them over it. 
They would agree. Awesome. We can increase autonomy, or it would cost us some of our absolutism. I'm actually going to strengthen this, even though our legitimacy is pretty high, because I want that absolutism. If the admin, I'll take it. Let's get some more stuff coring. Uh, we could invade here, but we might just be able to threaten war. That's not the gold province. I don't really care about the other one. Let's start capital. It might not give in. Maybe these two. We want. What? This. Your fort. Is there in a coalition against us? Now to prove that. Keep an eye on our time. 31 minutes. I'm going to stop there.